Picture it before you paint it. Download the free Dulux Visualizer app and see how your room will look in any color you choose. Dulux, let's color. It's time to change your wall color and you don't know whether to go for a lighter or darker hue. Well, you can leave it to the experts. Michael Harrison, designer and founding partner of Head Interiors, takes us through two different color palettes and how either one can create a sense of comfort or have a dramatic flair. Head Interiors is an iconic interior design firm. We've been around for over 30 years, we do commercial and residential and hospitality work. I think, you know, over all of these years, we've, we've just learned how to deliver a really high-end quality product, value for money, and um, just a nice mix, just to, you know, we like to do things possibly a little more modern, but then there's always the element of, it's got to be homely, it's got to be warm, it's got to be homely. So one could just call it kind of warm modern, if I had to kind of describe um, our residential sort of look and feel. As long as it's quality and it's well done, then, then it's us. Well, I would, you know, just generally describe my own personal style as being um, more modern, but warm modern, um, layered, but not too cluttered. I like to layer things, so that, that adds the warmth. So clean lines, simple, functional, and uh, very much livable. In, in certain areas, I'd go for something very light as a backdrop, and then you show off the pieces, maybe art, furniture, and that kind of thing. Keep it light and bright, or go for something a little more, uh, a little darker, a little more moody, just to bring in that element uh, of sensuality, and you can do it, uh, use the, that as a backdrop. In this particular instance, we wanted like a clean, fresh backdrop against which we just wanted to introduce a lot of color. Um, and in this case, it was kind of in the, in, the, in the range of blues and teals, and that was the sort of range that we went for in this particular case. Because in a funny way, we're not at the coast. I mean, this is, this is inland, and we just wanted to bring in that kind of fresh, kind of almost seaside look, almost country Hamptons type style. It's part of a large, bright family room. Uh, it's inland, and we thought, you know, let, let's just take, let's give it a little bit of a holiday take. You know, you don't have to be at the coast to do this kind of stuff. We went for these very white, crisp walls, set off with the, the white on white mirror, which I really think is, is just very classy, and then the dark frame, black and white prints. So that kind of sets off the walls. And then we've used this really nice textured linen as the up basic upholstery fabric on, on the two couches. Very comfortable, firm yet very comfortable. And then an array of cushions in, in various designs, patterns, just takes on, on the whole blue range. We've used an ottoman uh, as a coffee table, so we've upholstered it. So you can actually sit on it, it's comfortable to sit on, but it serves as a coffee table as well. So if you want to put your feet up on it, it's not a hard surface, it's soft, yet it's big enough to serve as a coffee table with a tray on it. So you, you bring in the colour, you bring in some texture, you bring in a bit of softness, and you also bring in a coffee table. We had really good ceiling height in the bedroom, so we wanted to make use of that. So that's why we used these kind of vertical elements, hand-carved mirrors, which we just thought were really great. And again, we've mixed it up a little bit. We haven't gone for a standard headboard with two matching side tables or pedestals. We've used different loose furniture pieces as the pedestals. And we've carried this with the blue theme, theme through into the bedroom with a lot of texture, nice cushions, very comfortable, high-end linen, and just the maximum comfort. We've also introduced some reflective surfaces that uh, just give it a little bit of sparkle. Again, which you can do really well on, on, a, on a white background. So we've introduced the mirrors, we've introduced handmade framed mirrors, as well as just a whole series of uh, mirrors as well on the other wall. So it just gives you this whole kind of reflective space and an interesting space to be in. 
White is really a kind of almost the ultimate backdrop because you know you can virtually do anything with it. Uh, it doesn't restrict you in any kind of way. Um, and that's why, as I've said, we've done white on white, which I think works really well. And then the, the black and white against the white also works well. And then, you know, as a backdrop for this color and, and these various blues and teals that we've introduced, it also just sets off particularly well. We chose a really deep, dark colour for the walls just to create this kind of more intimate, cosy space. And that really gave us the opportunity to have uh, almost fun with a lot of the other colours. So, I mean, the couch is black, so that's kind of stark and strong, but then the cushions bring in colour, they bring in texture, a lot of detail in the cushions in terms of the piping and the colours and the styles. The coffee tables are white reflective with a little bit of chrome, so there it's kind of reflective elements. Colour in the carpet and light side chairs. So we've got the set off between this dark couch, the, the, the light chairs, and then a lot of accessories and accent colours. We also chose to paint the wall units the same colour as, as the backdrop, as the wall, and that allows the items in them to shine as opposed to the cabinets themselves. We've used almost like a steel industrial type mirror on the wall that with a number of panes. So you get this kind of almost industrial frame and then you get this like bright reflective mirror. And that again sets off really well against the dark backdrop. So we've chosen to paint everything the same color throughout, including the doors, skirtings, because we wanted this continuous feel. We didn't want to break it up. We wanted this continuous backdrop of this particular colour. We didn't want to accent uh, a skirting or a door because then it, it, it breaks it up. You interact with the client and you say, okay, what do you want to use this room for? What is the purpose? What is your lifestyle? How do you live? That kind of stuff. And then I suggested that in this particular study type space, because it is um, it's slightly smaller room and it just has a specific purpose that a darker colour would really uh, encapsulate and just create that kind of cosy, slightly more intimate feel. And that's why I'd suggest a darker colour in the study as opposed to a family room which just has a completely different function altogether. If you're not sure where to begin with colour, select a shade inspired by artwork or an accessory for a main wall colour or accent. Consider the mood of a room. In a bedroom, do you want the feeling to be restful and soothing or dramatic and sensual? This can help you determine which palettes to work with. A dark colour doesn't have to feel intense and overbearing. Just by adding contrasting accessories and greenery, the space can be a cosy cocoon in your home. Paint colours such as Monterey Cliffs and of course Brilliant White are incredibly versatile and serve as the perfect canvas for any space. With the mid-sheen finish of Dulux Luxurious Silk, you can create a rich layered effect using colours, fabrics and furniture to make a statement with your stylish interior design. Create a restful living space with the subtle layering of neutral such as chiffon or Brilliant White from the professional Dulux Tinted Collection as featured on the new Dulux Visualizer app. Connect with us using the Dulux Visualizer app. Visit our website and discover decorating trends and fantastic Dulux paint product for you. Like us on our Facebook page and get expert advice on how to transform your living spaces. Or follow us on Pinterest and see decor ideas and stunning room sets in surprising colours that can come to life in your own home. Redecorating is made easy with the Dulux Visualizer app. Picture it before you paint it. Download the free Dulux Visualizer app and see how your room will look in any colour you choose. Dulux. Let's colour.